Finally, we have the ability to control your animations in Canva. So I've gone ahead and set up my workspace. I have a video in the background here and I'm just gonna put it for five seconds for now. And then we have our standard text where I've applied a rise animation. So if I were to play this from the very beginning, you see that the animation comes in and then there's an out animation or an exit animation, right? And one of the main issues with this was that if you added any more text or any other elements, you would pretty much be at the mercy of the default settings of the animation. So let's say I wanted to put in something else here. Let's call this fake productions. I don't know why that came to mind, but I want this text to pop in at let's say the three or four second mark and fade out while this text stays static. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is increase the duration to let's say about 10 seconds. Let's call it nine. So now what we can do, and this is super exciting, if you right click, now you're gonna see this option to show timing. So once you click that, now there's an option for the text on the timeline. So currently the way it is, it's just gonna animate along with the main text. But what we can do now is change the duration here. So I'm gonna start this at the three second mark and I want it to fade out at the five second mark. So now when we play it, we're gonna see the second set of text animate while the other one stays static. It's gonna fade out first and then the other one. I don't know about you, but I've been requesting this feature forever. <laughs> now this works with elements as well. The one nitpick I have though is I wish this worked like a video timeline. You know, if you're working in a video timeline and all your elements stack up, well, the text and elements doesn't work that way. I've added an audio file so you can see what I'm talking about. So we have our clip and we have our audio. If I right click and show timing, there's a spot now for this particular text. If I click the text above, you don't see an additional layer. It just switches between the two. Not a huge deal, but visually I prefer to see it separate. And by the way, to move it around, you just have to grab it around the middle and move it left or right. I have another clip here. This time I wanna show you how we can use this. Let's say you're doing a talking head video and you want you know, some points to come up, some bullet points, point one, point two, and maybe you want your subscribe button to pop up. Well, we can do that now. So let me just play this for you quickly. So this person's talking away, blah, blah, blah. And then she's got another point that's gonna come up in any second now. There we go. And then I have a subscribe button popping up. This new feature opens up a lot of possibilities. As mentioned, if I were to click on this element and we go right click, show timing, you see that it's got its own dedicated timeline space here. And most importantly, it's super simple to use. Now on top of this new feature, whether you know it or not, one of the things that they added a few months ago was the ability to control the animations in terms of direction. For this particular animation, we have typewriter. If you look here under animate, it says both on enter, on exit. And this has to do with the animation at the beginning and the end. And then you have options here for speed. So if I were to bring this down, you see how slow that animation is now, right? Or if I bring it all the way to the right, it's gonna be a lot faster. And underneath the speed, we have the writing style. So if I hover over character, you see that it animates individually and then by word. You just have to check what's available for each animation. Fade has character, word, line, or element. For the wipe animation, you also have directional, so you can choose which side it comes in or out of. So this one is up, this one is down, this one goes to the left. You get my point. Now, other than the small nitpick I have about being able to see all your elements on the timeline, this is really a game changer in terms of how you develop your designs with elements or text. Now, in case you haven't heard, Canva has released their beta text to image AI. I did do a video on it not too long ago. 
make sure you check it out here. But I also have a follow-up video coming because I received some information about what kind of text image AI it is and how you can get the most out of it. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell because you're going to want to see that video. In the meantime, my beautiful people, I'll see you when I see you.